Our next act is a magician. So what's your favorite magic trick? Ganska läskig, men min akt är bra mycket läskare än vad han är, så att jag ska se vad jag kan göra åt honom. Yeah! I don't know that one. Hey, how you doing? Nice to meet you. Trevligt att träffa dig också. Ah! Back up! He's Swedish, isn't he? Um, we need our translator. He can speak every language from around the world. It is absolutely phenomenal. So, um, Matt Sharp, I know you're around. Here we Hello, mate. Hi. How you doing? All right. Um, if you've never seen Matt, he does do sound, and he also does uh, our translations. Right, what is all of this about Swedish meatballs? Vorgen Jensen, IKEA meatballs. Um, ja, alltså, jag är inte ett jättestort fan av köttbullar överhuvudtaget, men eh, alltså, jag, jag kan ju låtsas tycka om det just för att jag är svensk. Det är bättre än Italian meatballs. Here you go. Right, let's crack on. I need three top tips on how best to put up flat pack furniture. Because it's a hell of a nightmare. Especially when you've got the wardrobe built and there's still nuts in the box. No nuts! I've got to go somewhere. Don't need any more screws or bolts. On the floor. As to Swede. Findus Fjords Jensen. Drink a lump beer. Love it. Um, light oh. or yeah. Okay. Um, man börjar med. I mean, that's what man ska köpa det där. So allt som inte får plats någonstans, det slänger man i soffan. He's done. That's very good, mate. Very good. So tip number one, he's just told you is. Use your own screwdriver. Right. Tip number two. Get a handyman if you need one. <laughs> yeah, get a handyman if you need one, yeah. Number three. Make sure you get it all out of the box. <laughs> <laughs> That's lovely. Any tips on getting rid of the wobble? The banamo, um Findus Fjords Jensen. Ja, ah, det är jättefarligt att hålla andan på det här viset. Eh, det finns väldigt mycket risker med att göra det och man vet inte riktigt vad som ska hända när det är så här pass mycket press på en dessutom. Så so, if you've got time, you take it apart and see where the nuts fit. It, mm. But only if it's got a proper wobble on. That's what he just said yeah. in Swedish. Mm. Only if it's got a proper wobble on. <laughs> Welcome to Britain's Got Talent. Thank you so much. What's your name? Pontus. I'm from Sweden. So what brings you to Britain's Got Talent today? I'm going to show you the world's most dangerous card trick. Oh, great. <laughs> I love danger. I love dangerous card tricks. If you were to just grab one of those, as long as you're happy, yeah, just have a peek. And just place it right over there. That's perfect. So, David, in my hand, I've got a combination padlock. I'd like you to think of a four-digit combination. So just write it down and I'll look away. Perfect. So this combination lock is to be set to the combination that you just chose. So I'll leave this lock to my assistant Jesper here and he'll help you to set it to that combination so that everything is as it should be. Back here we got a water tank. Ask a question. Roughly, how long have you got to get out before you die? We don't want to get to two minutes. Got it. Okay. Thirty seconds.
two minutes. We'll get him out. We don't have to get him out, won't we? It's 2.22. Guys. 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 After all this, he knows what card it is. Simon, you picked a card, right? The Ten of Diamonds. Oh, <laughs> oh no! Does this Ten of Diamonds match? That cool? David. You said you were going to perform the world's most dangerous card trick, and that must be the world's most dangerous <laughs> card trick. That's probably pen. What you do is very clever. The presentation isn't quite up there yet. Showmanship, basically. Imagination. I think that it's a really brilliant concept. It's thrilling. I think you're crazy, uh, very brave. I'm going to kick this off with a yes. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say yes. You've got four yeses. Congratulations. <laughs> He is a great magician. We've just seen that. Simon said that um, he needed a bit more showmanship and a bit more charisma. So how, how do you work on that? How is it possible to be a bit more like me? Um, Vaughan Van, Simon Cowell, um, Bet Findo. Ja, alltså med tanke på att vi hade sex dagar på oss att göra ordning det här tricket oh, när vi bad om eh, tre veckor så det är klart att det går att arbeta mer på det. Just keep practicing. Just keep practicing. I can't know what the question I'll be honest with you. I don't know what the question was. Do you know what I think it is? I think it's because you concentrate on this. I've just written some words down. You've, you've written some words? What's this for? Just somewhere so I can rhyme off some words. They're not actual words. It's just so I can <laughs> see some words. But all you've got to do is make up gobbledygook. The guy can speak English, can't you? <laughs> well, well, I, I could if I would like to. So but... do you know what I mean? The whole thing is just—it's just a joke. All right. Don't you ever do that again. We'll not have notes. You're spoiling this, Matt. <laughs>